high. The study and knowledge of history of mathematics can promote the right perspective in understanding the mathematical concepts and the idea which form the basic of for mathematics learning. A lesson introduced according to the history of mathematics with suitable pictorial and blackboard illustration will be instructive and interesting. Now, I am going to describe about the contributions of Gauss in mathematics. Gauss, he gave the beautiful quotations related to mathematics. Mathematics is the queen of science and arithmetic is the queen of mathematics. Gauss, the great mathematicians of the world was born Brunswick, Germany on 23rd April 1777. He was the son of day labor and small contractor. His father's name was Gerald Doetic Gauss. From the early childhood, the Gauss was having a great interest in mathematics. In 1799, he wrote the book on mathematics titled Disquise since Arithmetica. In the same year, he received his doctoral degree at Helmstedt. In 1807, he was appointed as the director of Cuttingen Observatory and Professor of Mathematics at the University of Göttingen. In 1809, he published his another book titled Thoria Motus, a work on the applications of mathematics to celestial mechanics. Again, in 1827, he published another book titled Supervision Curve. Hello, I am Karl Friedrich Gauss. Not to exponentiate my own quadratic, but I am considered by many to be the greatest mathematician to have ever lived. I showed promise even from an early age, but attending primary school in the late 1780s, my teacher tried to occupy my unruly class by asking us to add the integers from 1 to 100. I completed the seemingly monumental task in a matter of seconds, much to the dismay of my teacher. So, how did I do it? Suppose we listed the numbers from 1 to 100. Underneath that, we list all the numbers from 100 down to 1, lining up with the numbers above. Once set up in this fashion, we see that each number on the first line added to the number below it on the second line gives us 101. 100 plus 1 equals 101. 99 plus 2 equals 101. 98 plus 3 equals 101 und so weiter. We have 100 such pairs of numbers. So the total of these two sets of numbers is 100 times 101. This, however, gives us twice the amount that we are looking for, since we have added two sets of integers from 1 to 100. So we simply divide the total by 2, yielding an answer of 5050. If we wish to generalize this solution so that we can add any set of numbers, 1 to whatever, we would set up the formula n being the whatever times n plus 1 being one more than the whatever, all multiplied by one half. Interestingly, since either n or n plus 1 is an even number, we can always divide this product by 2 and come out with an integer. By applying these principles, I revealed my mathematical genius at a very young age and my exasperated teacher was thwarted in his attempt to calm his class. I am going to concentrate the contributions of Gauss in mathematics. 17 sides of polygon. In the year of 1796, Gauss invented the process of constructing the polygon of 17 sides with the help of rural and canvas. Trigonometry. He discovered four formula in spherical trigonometry, which is also known as Gauss analysis astronomy. He calculated the orbit of two new planets, Saras and Palos and Saturn. In 1809, he published his book on astronomy, Difference in Germany. Theory of surfaces, he did many researches, statistics, theory of errors. He discovered the famous law of Gaussian law of normal distributions of errors in theory of probability. Mathematical analysis. He invented mathematical of motions and growth and had been developed by Newton's and Leibniz. Hyper complex number. He solved the hyper complex number A plus BJ plus CJ plus DK. Non Euclid geometry. He also did a good work in that side. He gave a lot of research conclusions in geometry. Magnetism. Gauss is also famous for his scientific work in the field of magnetism 
and electricity in which he tried to possibility of sending telegraphic signals from Gottingen to the neighboring town. Telegram. He was initiated to form the telegraphic signal in an intercom mode. He invented some of the telegraph theorems and practices. Book. In 1799, he wrote first book in mathematics. Discussion Arithmetica, in which he showed that every integral rational equations in the single variables has almost one group. Others, he spent most of the time to problems of astronomy, theory of surface complex numbers, least squares and hypo hyperbolic geometry. He invented new algorithms by introducing the theory of congruences of figures. Thus has touched many topics not only in the field of astronomy but pure and applied sciences and that is why he is known as the real founder of modern German mathematics. He did, he, sorry, he died on February 23, 1855. I hope that all of us to award the contributions of Gauss in mathematics. Thank you.